Sure guys, welcome to another gardening video on my channel. My name is Spunks. So yeah, in today's video, we're going to be talking about crops that you can grow in June in South Africa. We're going to go through vegetables, the herbs, and even the flowers. And we're also going to talk about the companion plants that go well with these plants as well. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you like let's go straight into the video yeah so the first one we have is potatoes potatoes is a lovely one to grow in the garden very easy to grow yeah so if you have rotten potatoes you can literally take those potatoes put them in the soil bury them in the soil and literally within months you'll see them growing so that's what i did for this uh, for our potato and literally the, the what i love about potatoes is that it's one of those plants that you can literally just plant and forget you start it you forget about it and it's lovely so once it gets bigger then you just cover the the potato with a bit of soil and then it just encourages the it just encourages the potato to grow more and more and bigger and that creates bigger potatoes as well the lovely thing about potatoes as well is that it has a lot of companion plants so literally cabbage lettuce peas spinach parsley onion and even radish yeah so it has a lot of options in terms of the companion plants so then that will also help the growth of the potato so next we have cabbage so in our garden we grew uh, two varieties of cabbage and i'm so happy with the succession rates of the germination it was actually pretty too good <laughs> it was actually too good um but yeah very happy with it very nice i just probably have to thin out some of the ones and just keep maybe two for the chinese chihili for the other uh cabbage which is like a big uh cabbage plant which is a big cabbage plant i just have to probably just leave one for that one and it also has a lot of companion plants as well so this one has mint radish and then peas lettuce and spinach so another one that's a favorite in the winter garden is beetroot so beetroot another easy one to grow very fast in growing as well and it has another companion plant which is onion then another favorite we have peas peas you see in the garden we're growing so nicely the peas have started to flower even so yeah very fast in growing as well very quick to to germinate um this one the com the companion plants for these ones are radish lettuce and carrot so even this year i've planted it next to the lettuce i've actually uh started growing the lettuce which moves me to the next crop which is lettuce so lettuce is another one that really loves the winter and this one goes really well with the peas and it goes well with carrot onion radish and mint so yeah no lettuce very fast as well very fast in growing can tolerate the cold as well which is really nice then another root crop we have is carrot so this one carrot also really nice just make sure just a standard rule with carrots just make sure that you don't plant it too deep in the soil make sure that it's it's a shallow uh seeding it's, it's, it's a shallow planting of it so this one goes well with onion lettuce and peas which moves me to the next one which is onion and then onion another root crop another one that likes the winter so this one goes well with beetroot lettuce and carrot then i know you know what i'm gonna say next is spinach spinach is another one that really loves the winter garden so this one goes really well with cabbage radish and potato speaking of radish that's another one that i really love in the garden that one is another one that you can grow in june and this one goes well with cabbage carrot lettuce parsley and then the ever loving spinach so yeah those are the vegetables that you can grow in june i know there will be more so put them in the comments which ones you are growing which ones you want to be growing which ones uh which ones i missed and then we're gonna move to the herbs so the herbs are kind of limited we have mint and parsley so those are the ones that you can grow in uh, the winter garden so i would say with mint just make sure that you have it in a container or just make it sure that there's a secluded part in the garden because this one can really take over in the garden 
so just make sure that it's um that it's controlled that you'll be able to control and then for the flowers so the flowers we then have calendulas violas and pansies so these are very good in attracting beneficial insects uh, attracting bees it gives a nice pop of color to the garden so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful and yeah if you have any other ideas that we can talk about in the winter garden let me know and yeah no i love you guys all man you know let's let's grow man love peace grow every day <laughs>